Hey guys, welcome back. Let's do another video on the Arduino satellite. Welcome back everyone. My name is Eric. This is another small update on the Arduino satellite project. Some things have changed. This is where we sit with the satellite now. Um, if you didn't see the previous videos, what I'm building is a proof of concept CubeSat using off-the-shelf Arduino components. Last video, we didn't even have this really assembled yet. And what I did, I, I lost the video for this, guys. So uh, you don't get to see me hack the USB phone charger system. What I did is took the original battery and ditched it and took two single-cell LiPos. Uh, these are 600 milliamp hours a piece, giving us 1.2 amp hours of capacity in this. Use the original charging board and stuck the solar cell to the side of it. This allows us to charge the batteries, keep them maintained. On our previous test, what we were doing was just the Arduino Uno hooked to a speaker. And yeah, there's a big mess over here. The Arduino Uno with the speaker, we were able to send CW output. That's no good with just a speaker. We need to send it via radio to a receiver. So what I got was these. These are 433 megahertz transmitter and receiver combos. I don't remember the wattage right offhand. What I did when I sourced these was I checked to make sure the transmit mode. They are designed for ASK. You can see it on the data sheet. That's amplitude shift keying. It means we can send an AM transmission with it. That excited me. I thought we could do something with that. So what I did, went ahead and switched things over to the Arduino Nano. Not much required to hook this up, guys. Here is the transmitter fired into the breadboard. No antenna hooked to it yet. All you need is three wires. We're going to use power, which is our red, blue is our ground, uh, these are 5 volt tolerant, and then we need a signal line. So we take that signal line, hook it, I'm using uh, digital pin 3 in my code, you can change that if you like, and uh, the code is available down below guys. And we're going to send pulse width modulated to here to make it talk. The same code we used before to make the Morse code. But now we're going to transmit it. Pretty exciting. We're going to give this a try on the oscilloscope. We'll make sure that works. Let's hook it up. So with it hooked to the oscilloscope, we can see we're getting an output. This is pretty promising. This means that the transmitter should be working, and we can test that as well. So with the transmitter hooked up, we should be able to start receiving this. Uh, keep in mind, guys, this is only proof of concept. This is all just set up so that I can just sort of set things inside. Uh, this thing isn't going to space or anything uh, as it sits or uh, in any form close to what it sits. But anyway, let's give this a try and see if we're actually sending something. We'll take our Baofeng UV5R. Keep in mind, this is going to be an FM receive. And there we are. We're transmitting. So what we'll do is we'll set this somewhere far away from my SDR on the PC and we'll see what we can get with a radio receiver hooked to the PC. And uh, hopefully we can decode this. So we set the satellite in the basement here. We'll go upstairs and we'll tune in the SDR with the antenna in the attic and we'll see if we can receive this thing. Here we have the software defined radio on the screen. We'll tune it in and we should be able to actually decode. Just as simple as that, guys, with an ultra-cheap eBay transmitter, an Arduino Nano, some hacked up components, we're sending the telemetry down. Next, I'm going to add more Arduinos and data bus them together. This one will be devoted to just transmit. I may even scale it down probably to the one of the minis. 
because we, we don't need much. Actually, we can probably use an AT Tiny for this. And we'll data bus them together. I'll show you an overlay of what I have on mind on the screen. We should be able to have multiple, multiple uh, microcontrollers on board doing the work and sharing the information via the I2C data bus, the I squared C. Guys, it's pretty exciting for, for cheap off the shelf electronics. We've now achieved a transmit module. We'll do some range tests on this. I suspect we're going to be about a hundred yards and we'll see where we end up from here, guys. Really glad you could join me today. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. <laughs>